Let's talk Turkey here. Well, actually, turkeys, plural. Take a look. About 20 of them pecking cars and impacting flight operations at NASA Ames in Mountain View. NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favreau explains the issue is big enough that the birds are going to be moved. NASA says moving the birds will protect both the turkeys and the Ames community. The USDA tells us it's starting the process this week by luring the turkeys into one specific area. These wild turkeys are a common sight at NASA Ames Research Center in Mountain View. They've been hanging out for the past couple years. NASA Ames tweeted this photo last Thanksgiving. But in addition to showing off their fancy feathers, the United States Department of Agriculture tells us the birds are causing trouble, pecking at cars, stopping traffic, and leaving poop everywhere. NASA says the birds have even gotten close to the Moffett Federal Airfield, where they could potentially pose a threat to aircraft operations. So NASA Ames decided it's time for the turkeys to move. NASA is teaming up with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, who has licensed trappers, and they're going to be working on relocating the turkeys. The USDA says about 18 turkeys will be relocated, with the process starting now before nesting season. California Department of Fish and Wildlife is helping, providing the birds their new home. The release site for these turkeys is going to be the San Antonio Valley Ecological Reserve, which is about 3,000 acres, about 30 miles south of Livermore. So how do you catch a turkey? The USDA says the birds will be lured to a walk-in corral with food for a few days, then a funnel will be put Put in so the turkeys can't escape. They'll then be placed in individual carriers. Every turkey that gets trapped at least is going to be tested for disease and you know only the turkeys that pass the test that test negative for, for disease are going to be relocated. The USDA anticipates these gobblers should be gone by the end of this month. In Mountain View, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News.